Progress requires change, a challenge to conventional thinking. Cortez Subsea is pioneering new ways to make shallow water pipe play quicker, safer, and better for the environment. Imagine a future without welding, but with stronger joints, using smaller vessels, with less crew. Cortez Subsea's new force combines weld-free mechanical interference connections with a modular semi-automated pipe play process. The future is now. I'm Mahmoud Mohammed from Cortez Subsea, the project manager of the TNAG gas pipeline system project. I have more than 35 years of experience in subsea pipelines and I have to say, this project is very unique due to the technology mix we used. We laid the pipes using NOV Zaplock mechanical connectors rather than conventional welding techniques. The project involved laying 58 kilometers of 12-inch pipeline and a fiber optics cable off the east coast of the Malaysian Peninsula. The pipeline was connected to a wellhead platform and a floating production storage and offloading unit, i.e. FPSO, using flexible risers. These flexible risers were pulled in and connected to the pipeline using a stinger-deployed diverless connector, or SDDC. It was deployed using an ROV, which meant there were no divers used in the installation of the TNAG pipeline system. Both the Zaplock mechanical connectors and the SDDCs are unique approaches to traditional subsea installation. Zaplock is an extremely efficient way of laying pipe, has been very successful in the USA Gulf of Mexico, West Africa and Thailand, but this is the first time it has been used offshore Malaysia. We're very confident there will be many more Zaplock projects in the region because of the efficiency, cost saving and increased safety the technique provides. We use the TMAS 1201 pipeline vessel to install the system. Its large pipeline platform provides a safe and efficient environment. The equipment was prepared and loaded onto the vessel in Johor port. This included the Zaplock press, which effectively eases two sections of pipe together to make a metal-to-metal -metal contact connection. The press made more than 5,000 Zaplock connections along the length of the pipeline which took 20 days from initiation to lay down. All the pipe was fabricated in Germany and delivered to Kwantan in Malaysia, where it was also loaded onto the TMAS 1201. Another key vessel on the project was the Grand Canyon II. It was fitted with two work-class ROV systems and performed a relay survey, pipeline crossings, flexible riser installation, fiber optics cable installation, and pipeline pre-commissioning. This unique project resulted in pipeline which was quicker, safer and cleaner. I believe it is the first of many to come. Challenge Convention with Cortez Subsea.